So after running better DS3, the only issue was that you still needed to run DS3 tool to get the drivers installed. And anyone that's installed Motion Enjoys software before would see that in their folder there was another folder called drivers. So what I did is I took that folder and put it on my desktop and that's exactly what we're going to do to get this, these drivers installed and we don't have to run the program at all. Now the first thing you want to do is go to start devices and printers and then plug your controller in and then it's going to pop up PlayStation 3 controller which is fine. So double click that click on the hardware tab and double click on USB input device and then go to driver update browse my computer for driver software now you're going to want to point to wherever you uh, put the folder at which I, I'll put a link down below so you don't have to bother with installing the software um, this is mine right here so you just click OK and click next and it's just going to start installing it this will pop up and just click install and now it's installed it's pretty much all there is to it so from here you go into better DS3 and there's the driver for it right there now I've already made a, a few profiles so you can see once you go in here it's already set up for you um, now if anyone does the Bluetooth like I do I can show you how to do that it's pretty straightforward also you just plug in your Bluetooth device and this is mine right here it's the same way as with the controller uh, you use this one right here generic Bluetooth adapter driver update browse same folder uses the same driver now so now you just close out all of it go back into better DS3 and then all you do from here is just unplug the controller from the USB and then the Bluetooth driver will kick in and now you can see that I can use my controller but it's not connected with the wire now the uninstallation is just as easy all you gotta do is go into device manager under Microsoft Common Controller and just uninstall these two click delete device software that one's uninstalled do the same for this one and that's it so now what you would want to do is use proceed to Wiltshire's video which I'll include a link in the description um, he'll show you how to use the the program and all that